What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy, back again with my next episode of the United States of Joe Winko. So, like always, I'm going to be announcing the winner of um, last episode's trivia question. So, last episode's trivia question was, who was the fifth person to be murdered in Joe Winko's 2010 Sims 2 slasher film, The Mask? And that was answered correctly by John J. Jr. again. So uh, John J. Jr. has already become the mayor of Chicago, Huntsville, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, and Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And uh, I think that's it. But either way, so far he's in the lead. But now he's also going to become the mayor of my next city along Interstate 65, Montgomery, Alabama, which is going to be right here. So yeah, let's get this party started. <laughs> Congratulations to John Jay Jr. Yeah, I was going to do an episode of the United States of Joe Winko yesterday, but I just didn't feel like it for some reason. This game is a lot of fun. It's always been my dream to build up a huge region with a whole bunch of cities attached to it and have them all connected together. Now I'm finally accomplishing that dream and doing it on video, and keeping track of how long it takes me. It's going pretty good. I almost have, like, a, I almost have at least half of the western part of the U.S., I mean, the eastern part of the U.S.A. built up. Well, the south and part of the Midwest, at least. Gonna start building up on the north part soon. I think I'm going to finish the south before, because afterwards, after I complete I-65, I'm going to go east down I-10 and connect all those, and then continue down I-95 and I-75 through the Florida area and have all those connected. Then I think I might, I might either go up I-95 and start building all up there, all the way to Virginia, or I might just uh, go up I-75 back to Chicago or Michigan or Wisconsin. I don't know. Whatever puts me in the mood. I am going to finish all of the east before I head west, though. I also have um, one city in Texas made. I need to add more to that. I didn't want to work on Arkansas yet until I finish my Sims 2 horror movie, Call of the Scarecrow. I still need voice actors for that, too. I should have a... I'll have a link to the casting call in the pinned comments so you guys can audition. So I really want to make a new Sims 2 horror movie before this year is over. I actually wanted to make three Sims 2 horror movies. One about the Killer Scarecrow in Arkansas, and another about the, um... About what else? About these serial killers on the loose in Texas... Alright, let's go mirror mode. Let me double check how to spell the city. Don't want to make any spelling errors. Okay, Montgomery. M-O-N-T-G-O-M-E-R-Y. Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, we got it! So yeah, congratulations to John Jay Jr. for becoming the mayor of my next city. Well, his next city, I should say. Montgomery, Alabama. <laughs> He's like owning Alabama. <laughs> John Jay Jr., if you're watching this, well, I know you are, but I hope you hear this. Do you like, have you ever been to Alabama or something? Just curious. <laughs> It's a nice place. It's warm. It's sunny. Well, when I went in April, it was warm and sunny. Um, the guy who took me to Alabama said that it's always warm, even during the winter. But they don't have palm trees, though. Except in the Mobile region. Okay, gonna twist this highway around a certain way. How long is that bridge? Oh, it's an above ground highway. That's why it looks like that. Okay, never mind.
Okay, so we got that done. I-65 running through Montgomery, Alabama. Ooh, it cuts right through the center. That's good. Um, so... Yeah, let me work on the city oriences. So taxes, dirty industry, let's increase that to 22%. All right, high tech, let me bring that down a long ways. I can basically bring that down to nothing. High tech industrial, that's like really awesome to have. I don't know why um, agricultural zoning has... Uh... Oh yeah, let me bring down low wealth residential to 3.0 because the poor people will always ride the bus and take the subways that's always really nice should have a subway system going through the whole country Okay. Yeah, just mess around with those numbers. Don't really care about them very much. Well, I do. I don't want dirty industry, industry in my region. Like, the Joe Winko city capital is absolutely trashed, because I have so much industrial regions there. I have to tear down all those. Transportation department. Let me spike this up a bit. Public safety. I don't have anything zoned yet. Okay, that's all done. And as much as I hate adding this, let's add in landfill zone first. What? Why can't I build a... Oh, yeah, the money trees are in the way, that's why. Okay, that's all covered. Now let's start zoning the places now. I don't want Montgomery to be too populated of a town, so, I mean a city, so I'm just gonna zone medium residential. And access to the highway here. And medium density commercial. Yeah, I'm feeling a little out of it right now. Yeah, my sleeping schedule has been whack. Um, been trying to fix it, but it's been difficult. 
People with autism, I heard that they have a tough time falling asleep at night. I don't think that's specifically caused by autism, could be caused by other conditions I have. Like, I have like a shit ton of stuff wrong with me. Well, not wrong, just stuff that's, um, uh, different, I think, and lack of better terms of explaining it. Oh uh, yeah, another ramble about my personal life. Well, the whole point of my YouTube channel is for you guys to get to know me. That's what it is. More than- I'm more than just a guy who just sits here and plays SimCity 4. <laughs> yeah, only a little more, but still counts as something. So, no one lives here- oh, I need to add the necessities. Large police station here. Large medical center here. High school. Gotta make sure they're all paid enough, too. An elementary school. And fire station. Let me just throw in two fire stations. And some parks. I've never been to Montgomery, Alabama. It, it's, I'm actually was surprised, because I, when I looked on the map, I saw that it was a smaller city than, um... Than Birmingham and Mobile and all those other places. I was surprised because I figured since it's the capital, it should be like the most like sprawling city. But that's not always the case. I mean, same with Wisconsin and same with Madison. Like, well, actually, Madison is actually almost the same, almost has just as many people as uh, Milwaukee. It's just that uh, it's like. Milwaukee just has a little bit more than Madison. Madison's really nice. I like I like Madison more than Milwaukee. The only reason why I wouldn't live there, however, is because it gets cold. Because it's still Wisconsin. And I don't like Wisconsin. I want to leave the state forever. Too many bad memories. And there's no palm trees here. I love palm trees because they make me think of my uncle or Mario. So why I want to move down south. Yeah, because that's my point in life. I mean, you should be happy and live someplace where you're happy. I remember, um, oh, wait, hold on one second. I need to fix that. I remember, um, <laughs> I don't know, I, I shouldn't bring this up again, but you guys remember when I was, like, posting all those videos online about how I was looking for, like, a father and son relationship, and how I wanted to, like, move down move down south and everything. Well, I didn't really have much luck with that, obviously, and not as much as I thought I would. But, um, like, I did run into a couple guys who I talked to. They all lived up north, and one none of them wanted to move to Florida at all. And I'm like, why don't you want to move to Florida? That's crazy. Florida's so nice. It's warm and sunny and everything. And they're like, oh, I don't want to move to Florida. And I was like, oh, well, you're nuts. And they said, oh, I could keep you warm. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> See, you know, that's the reason why I should just live by myself instead. I don't need to live without anyone. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add a water pump. Forgot about that. I'll have one here and one here. But seriously, now that I think of it, that really wouldn't be such a good idea. And, um, plus I got, like, quite a bit of backlash from people. Um, not from, like, 
And, you know, ironically, not from, like, straight people at all. It was from the other gay guys. And they were saying that I was, like, an embarrassment to the gay community. And they were saying that I was sick and everything. And they were saying, oh, you are an embarrassment to all of us and shit like that. Yada, yada, yada. You should go eat some worms and die. Okay, they didn't tell me that, but they might as well have. It was, anno it was really disrespectful. And I really saw how unloyal homosexual guys really were and it was upsetting really um yeah okay they need more um residential areas i mean i never got insulted about my sexuality by a straight person but um well straight people really don't care if you're gay or not like they'll just say like, they'll just, um, be like, oh, well, whatever, I don't care, I don't want to know about that, that's all they'll say. Like, cause they, th it really has nothing to do with them at all. I mean, even people down south, I'm assuming, don't, re really wouldn't care. And, like, people say, oh, you don't want to be gay down south, that's not a good place. Well, I don't, like, go out flaunting it, really. I mean, well, yeah, in my YouTube videos I kind of do, but, um, besides that, um, I don't. And, you know, to be honest with you, the, no one really pays attention to jack shit I say in any of my YouTube videos. Like, this whole conversation I'm having right now, I'm pretty sure no one will listen to it at all for a long time. Not until after I'm long gone, at least. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, because that's when, that's when everyone gets curious about what you've done and what, um, and, uh, what it has been going on and everything. I need to add another bus stop. Hold on. Like, oh, Joe passed away. I wonder what he was saying in this video. Oh, he was talking all of this, and we didn't hear it till now. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I don't really plan on going out soon. Uh, at least I don't plan on it. I don't fear the Reaper, though, because it happens to all of us, young or old. Ooh, these places are building up. But plus, I need to finish all my regions, this whole entire map in SimCity 4 first. <laughs> well, I could come back as a ghost and keep posting videos. That'd be really fun. But then if I came back as a ghost, no one would be interested in what I said in any of these videos. Well, uh, maybe they would. I don't know. I need to stop talking about such gloomy stuff. Jeesh. Okay, they want to add the mayor's house. Okay, we'll add that in. And... House of Worship? Sure. I mean, it's Montgomery, Alabama. You need to have that religious aspect to the city, too. You know, there's actually another thing that annoys me, speaking of uh, speaking of death and everything. Okay, I was trying not to talk about death, but I'm just going to bring this up anyway. You know how people always um, say that their biggest fear is like dying alone and stuff like that? I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why people are afraid of dying alone. Like, oh, I don't want to die alone. Like, you guys remember that... <laughs> you guys remember that idiot I went to visit in Florida who said that he didn't want to die alone and shit like that? Well, I, I kind of think that's kind of pathetic, really. That's another reason why I didn't want this whole, like, um... Why I changed my mind about that whole, like, father and son thing I was looking for. I mean, because what they wanted was completely different from what I wanted. I didn't want... I really didn't want anyone to, like, um, love or care about me at all, because that's really not going to do me any good. Oh, wait a second. Um, well, hold on. I need to figure out how to rephrase that, love or care about me at all. Well, uh, I'm, like, I'm used to being alone, really. I mean... I mean, okay, this is gonna get x-rated. Yeah, I did want someone to have set. well, 
Well, I did want someone to suck me off every now and then so I don't have to jerk off again. But that's really all I really cared about, really. <laughs> I mean, because even in my, my, um, even in my, uh, what episode of Joe Winko talk was that? That was Houseboy Doubts, that's what it was called. Um, I was even saying in that one that I feel that because of my mental conditions I suffer from, like autism, ADHD, and bipolar disorder, I feel like I can't... I feel like I'm incapable of having a relationship with anyone. Get what I'm saying? Um... Okay, this is... Wow, this has gotten extremely personal. Um... That's what I felt like. Like I'm incapable of having a relationship. But you know, that's okay. Because you know, the thing is, people with autism... And this is true. People with autism have, um, very, are into very specific stuff, like intense interest in one thing, but they don't care about anything else. Like, I remember I was on the phone last night with this guy I was talking to on, um, FetLife, and he was, um, I was telling him, we had a good conversation, it was really nice. I was telling him about my Sims 2 horror movies, and, like, he wanted me to come visit him and show him my Sims well, he didn't want me to. I want. I wanted to. Well, he did want me to come visit, but I want. Well, when I came visit, I wanted to show him my Sims 2 horror movies. But he basically more or less told me that he wasn't interested in those at all. Like, kind of bluntly. He didn't say that quote unquote. But um, I was just like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I really don't care. I mean, I. I did, however, have these one friends. Well, I wouldn't really consider them friends anymore now that I think of it. Like, they liked my Sims 1... They liked my Sim horror movies. But, you know, they never understood, like, the deeper meaning behind all of them. Like, they it, they all thought it, everything was a joke. And they kind of, like, made fun of everything. Honestly. I didn't realize that at first, but it was absolutely true. Oh, hold on. But it was absolutely true. Um, their favorite... One of them said that their favorite uh, Sims 2 videos I made was my... Um, oh wait, never mind. I shouldn't talk about that because I actually took that video down. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Truth is, no one really understands me at all. And you know, that's, I'm not really, well, I'm not saying that I'm glad no one does, but um, it doesn't really matter, really. But whole, however, that's not the point of this video. I'm just wanna, just trying to think of stuff to ramble about while I work on my SimCity, SimCity City, um, <laughs> Montgomery, Alabama, place I've never been to before, but want to visit one day. I only, went, I only went down I-65 to Birmingham. I never even been through Tuscaloosa. Oh, yeah, I should connect these water pipes. Okay, so we have a population of 3,956. And... The commercial zoning is starting to fill up. That's good. If more people complain about not having jobs, I'll add more then. Let me zone some low-density residential on the outskirts. Well, it's not technically the outskirts, but yeah. And some bus stops. I was gonna do a new episode of Joe Inko talk about this movie I saw that was a... Uh, it's a Lifetime movie. It's called Girl Fight. It's about these girls who get really mad at this other girl, so they decide to go on camera and beat her up on camera, and they post it online, and then they all get in trouble for it, and then they all get yeast infections. Um, <laughs> okay, that last part doesn't happen, but um, yeah, uh, I was thinking about doing an episode of Joe Winko talk about that, because it covers... It shows, no offense to girls watching this video, but, um, oh, okay, they want to add enough for school. Okay, hold on. All right, there. No offense to girls watching this video, but, um, 
it shows uh, how like evil high school girls kind of are nowadays. No, as I said earlier, no offense to high school girls who are watching this video, but it just kind of does, really. <laughs> All right, and they want to add another water pump, so I'm gonna give them another water pump. That's why I wanted to cover it. I mean, and that movie was from year 2011. That's the year I was in high school. High school was not good for me. Well, the first part of high school wasn't. The last parts of high school were, because I was taken out of my normal high school and put into a high school for kids with autism, which is really where I belonged the whole entire time. I'm kind of kind of upset that it took me that long to get there. Like, how long was I in school for since I was in K-4? And when did I end up going to this school? Not until I was 15. That's a long time. How many years is that? Like, 11 years. Wait, was it? Yep, it was 11 years. 14, I mean, 4 to 15. Yep, that's 11 years. And it took, like, massive amounts of bullying to get me there. Stupid. <laughs> oh, whatever. We're not supposed to be talking about that anyway. We're supposed to be focusing on my city. My, well, John Jay Jr. city. Montgomery, Alabama. Which has a population of 9,320. And the mayor gets a new house. Awesome. I know that a lot of people are kind of grossed out about hearing about my personal life, but I, I hope you guys aren't. That's another thing. I don't want to, like, disgust you guys or anything. Like, the people on City Data. City Data is not a good site. Do not use it. People there are complete assholes. I hate the people on City Data. Ugh. And you know, it sucks, because City Data could be such a cool site. It's like this whole web form where you can work with like different sections about uh, all these cities in North America, like, um, like Huntsville, Alabama. They have a section for Milwaukee. They have a section for Atlanta. They have a section for, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but basically every city and every state you can think of. Another place I always wanted to visit for some time was New London, Connecticut. That's going to be the area where my next Sims 2 series ta- I, I have not made that yet, goddammit. Um, <laughs> it was, um, it was a base, it was kind of based off of American Horror Story. It's called American Ghost Story, House of the Haunted. And it was about a haunted house in New London, Connecticut, and, um, bunch of sad stuff starts happening. It stars me, obviously. It's about me and my adoptive parents moved to New London, Connecticut. And it's about me being all depressed because I miss my uncle and everything. It's kind of based off a true story somewhat. But we moved to this haunted house full of ghosts. And a bunch of tripped out stuff starts happening. But it's not really as sexually explicit as American Horror Story. But, um, it is kind of, it is violent nonetheless. Because that's the only th place where American Horror Story messed up. They made it too, like, sexually explicit. Like, the guy in the rubber suit and all that other shit. It got annoying. Like, no one cares about that. <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind right now. So, so far 10,000 people live here. Let me just pause, and I'm going to save this episode right here, and I'm going to end this episode right here. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, so, that's it. So, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Congratulations to John Jay Jr. for becoming the mayor of this city. Please answer the trivia question at the end, so you can become the mayor of the next city. The first person who gets it right will become the mayor of my next city I'm building in the United States of Joe Winko. And yeah, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people. This episode's trivia question. 
How old was Joe Wanko in Joe Wanko's 2010 Sims 2 slasher film, Lake Pewok? Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Wanko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember, you must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people. Also, just for the record, that whole rule that I said earlier about you can't own the surrounding cities around a city you already own, or al I mean already became the mayor of, yeah, that rule doesn't apply anymore, so um, yeah, don't worry about that at all. I, w I just added that rule in to encourage more people to play, really, but I really hope you guys still participate anyway in answering the trivia questions, right, so I could list you as the mayor. So, um, yeah, have fun.